I was browsing itch.io for a horror game to play, and I found one about a lamppost. I was really intrigued on how they can make a lamppost scary, so I downloaded it. Here's how that went. I am not reading all of that. Okay, fine, I'll read it. Based on the rumors, the lamppost uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes in contact with it. Oh, lethal company? Lethal company reference? Bro, this is sprinting. That is sprinting. So this is the thing that kills you if you touch it? I don't think it's very dangerous. <laughs> Why is there a fan in a... Was that a notebook? Why are there just random objects scattered? That scared me too. <laughs> The underscore dumb underscore person <laughs> underscore How did that scare me? Why is there blood on the shovel? And it's not even possessed. Bro, who is in the wall? I don't got any water near me. Okay. I will. <laughs> Just give me a second. You'll have to stare at the lamppost for a minute. The trash haunted. Is there? Is this a bottle of liquor? Is it haunted? It is. W what do I do now? Did I get all five? Do I collect the lamppost? Okay. What? It, where's the last haunted thing? Is this it? Yes. Was that not even the last one? I've searched this entire yard. Y'all have done nothing except to walk back and forth. Have you collected those samples? Oh my God! You, the thing pops up for three seconds. We should be, we should not stay here for long. The SCP radiation can be harmful. Collecting the samples and report to me after. My head is killing me. I thought the lamppost killed you if you touched it. Scam. Bucket. Scary bucket. Scary rock. Scary blood. I've searched the whole yard. You, you've seen it. Is this it? No? Is this it? It is. There we go, finally, oh my god. Although, do not wonder where are those objects coming from? I really asked that first thing. The entire we saw that too, right? Oh my god. No one is allowed in this area, yet there are so many objects in here. Could it be that the SCP moves those objects from somewhere? Maybe even from another dimension? Or is tweaking? Your analog multimeter. Damn. Oh no, the lamp post. Is that the whole game? Yippee! Oh, okay, I was gonna say, if that's the whole game... What is this? I'm not reading all that. What's up? Yo, are there any games on here? Yo, can I get some, some Roblox on here? Some Geometry Dash, let me play Oblivion. I'm dead, man, I'm dead. Man, I'm... I don't know. I'm not reading all that. Wait, did I go back to the beginning? I think I did. I just need to. Oh, what's up? Do I need to find all the computers? Why would I need to do that? It probably said something about that in the note and I just didn't read it. What's up? Bro does not want to work here anymore. Bro is tired of this job. Computer. Watch Bro be behind me. Lampo. 
boost. So here are my thoughts about this game. There was no game. It was just another find objects and wait for something spooky to happen walking simulator. It's been done to death. If you are going to put in the effort to make a whole horror game, at least come up with a semi-original concept first. You might say that the lamppost part of the game was original. I guess it technically was, if you regard the fact that it is literally just an SCP but it had next to nothing to do with the gameplay, just the story. And the gameplay didn't even follow the lore it gave. The first thing the game told me was that the lamppost consumes anything that comes in contact with it. And you gotta love how the lamppost didn't even contribute to the game's horror aspects. Yes, it created the ghost that followed you throughout the game, but it wasn't the lamppost that was scary. That's the part that dragged me in. The only thing that was, was the very basic ghost and character designs. I don't expect games from Itch.io to be original or even quality, but the whole reason I downloaded it was to play something, not walk around and look for objects. There could have been really good things coming from this game had the developer just put a bit more thinking into the mechanics and expanded all the ideas more. For instance, the one radar thing that helped you find objects Maybe that could also detect an invisible ghost and you would have to run away from it when you hear the beeping. This one little addition could benefit the game greatly and leave me with something to look back on. As a game developer, it is your job to entertain and excite the player by any means necessary. I hope I wasn't too mean, I just wish to give valid and fair criticism for all of my playthroughs. Niven, if you are seeing this, I hope this helps and you continue to grow as a developer.